All right, guys, I uh, wanted to show you guys that I have this thing all back together and ready to go. I uh, still have to paint the shell and just do some fine-tuning as far as uh, suspension and a couple of the other parts that I've uh, picked up over the last couple days. Uh, but got all the electronics in, got everything kind of put together and uh, somewhat buttoned up, and want to show you guys kind of uh, what I put in this thing. So you'll notice a lot of old parts that I've used. Um, these are all things that I did have laying around, uh, but there is the Pro 4. That's the uh, Tekken 4-pole motor, um, 4,000 kV. Um, went ahead and mounted up a 15-tooth uh, Mod 1 pinion, and that's nice right there. Um, kind of uh, just wanted to slap the wires in. I, I, I probably will clean the wires up a lot nicer here in the near future. Uh, but there's the Mama Max Pro speed control. And you're hearing kind of some static there. Uh, I have everything on right now because I want to show you guys something a little bit later. Um, Nanotech 5.6. This is a 50C uh, battery. Of course, the Savox Servo uh, SC1258 TG. And you'll notice here that I have that little cap right there. That is a Spectrum voltage capacitor, and that is to keep the Savox from drawing too much amperage um, away from the motor, causing the uh, servo to glitch. i uh, got my Spectrum, just my SR300 mounted up in there, and other than that, that's all of the electronics. Um, you'll notice I've went ahead and mounted up a few other accessories. Um, I do have the TLR chassis that I did a previous video on, there is the rear torque rod um, from TLR as well. And then I also put in the front chassis brace right up in here. So, And that is a uh, Lozy part as well. Um, threw on some uh, aluminum uh, serrated nuts right there uh, for the wheels. Went with the blue ones meant to match the shocks. Not too bad. And uh, one thing I did want to show you guys, I, I went ahead and just ran it real quick. I'm about ready to leave on vacation tomorrow morning. Wanted to get this thing up and running because I was really anxious to do so. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the throttle. And I want you guys to watch that rear drive shaft and tell me if there's anything wrong. See any movement there at all? And the thing that worries me is at a little bit higher... RPMs, this thing starts really vibrating. So, you kind of really see a lot of wobble in that rear drive shaft. The front one is very, very smooth. No movement at all. The man, I threw this thing on the ground and let it go a little bit, you know, just outside on the street. And this thing has some get up and go, I'll tell you that. So really can't wait to get this thing on the track. And um, that's it for now, guys. I'm going to be gone for about a week and a half uh, doing some mountain biking and just enjoying a, a little vacation time. So um, yeah, well, let's show you the mountain bike. I have uh, kind of cleaned it all up, got it all ready for... Uh, the mountain over here in Mammoth. So, and there it is. Nice little uh, 2010 Pivot Mach 5, uh, full XT. Got a RockShock uh, Pike 454 on the front. Uh, my perfect uh, Hope um, Tech M4 brakes. So, got this thing all up and running and ready to go uh, do a little mountain biking. So, Anyways, that's it for now, guys. Uh, back to the low C. Um, any questions, throw them on down below. And if you like my channel, subscribe. I definitely love new subscriptions. I uh, just got my 350th today. So that's it for now, guys. Over and out.